what, what makes you think Jesus is awesome? Yeshua, Jesus, because I've been to heaven. You've been to heaven? Well, yeah. first of all, those aren't, those aren't the names. What makes you think those are the names? See, where no man, where, how does it say? The book well, of Proverbs? I love Jesus, or I'm saved. Uh -huh. you, you need love in your heart. What is love? I was asking you, you're trying to preach to me. I don't out argue with people. I ain't, it ain't arguing. That's a simple I question. Love people. It's all about love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michelle, Michelle. All the gifts. If you don't have love, you don't have nothing. Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as lions. Because I asked a simple question. I asked a simple question, he gets he gets he gets hurt. I don't think that's love. This is uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. That's what love is. Obeying the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Then people talk, they don't even know what they're talking about, man. Love is in your heart. What is love? <laughs> you know? Love is uh, working no ill towards your neighbor. You got people doing that all throughout the city, man. Especially in my seat, a bunch of thieves, crooks, backstabbers, busybodies, fucking whispers. You know? It's a goddamn devil. That's all it is here. Bunch of crabs and lobsters and shrimps. The abominable, the unclean. Okay, coming over here chewing fucking tobacco at this this toothless ass, boy. You know? Come on, man. I, why are you gonna get offended because I ask him? I'm asking you a question. I'm testing the spirit. It's the Lord says, test the spirit, right? It says, First John four and one, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are the Most High. So you gotta try the spirit, which. Is another way of saying test the spirit for a certain individual that's always on YouTube making these notes and writing these things, uh, trying to uh, discredit brothers, saying that we're going off because he don't like the way we speak. We have to. We have. There's. There's. Did, did you not know that there's synonyms or other related words that you you, you could use besides? Always, always being verbatim by way of the scriptures. You think that's going off because uh, a brother may say, uh, "Try the spirit by the spirit," or um, "Test the spirits." The scriptures say, "Try the spirit." Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits where the, whether they are the most high. Because everybody has something to say. Everybody has something to say, but none of them bring out the scriptures. They don't have the Bible to, to uh, defend their doctrine. The scriptures say, study the show, study the show that self approved unto the most high, rightly dividing the word of truth. Nobody does that here. Everybody just wants to speak and run from the mouth like if they know what they're talking about. Nobody ever brings out the Bible. Everybody's a Christian whenever somebody stands up for it, but that on their uh, full-time jobs or, or you know out there in their life, they're being wicked. Stealing, smoking crack, smoking meth, smoking cigarettes, committing adultery. Robbing people, but they want to come up here and act like they, they're about to fight. Bunch of hypocrites in Snatchable, man. That's all there is. Bunch of hypocrites, thieves. You probably, you probably uh, 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 voted in Tim Vasquez. That, that's a damn crook. Police force are nothing but crooks, lawyers, judges. People are a joke, man. That's why the Most High is bringing judgment. We, have, we don't even have to get mad, man. You know, that's the Most High is bringing judgment on the earth because he's our he's our defender. He's our he's our uh, uh, he's the one that's gonna come as a man, not not as a man, and, and he's gonna come as a man of the as a, as a man of war. He ain't gonna appear as a man. He did that already. He's gonna be he's gonna come back as a force, man, from up on heavens, from up on top, man. He's gonna crack them clouds, man, by way of the the, the chariots. He's going to show all these, these different people, man, all these nations, all the powers that be, that he's the one. And that's what he's doing, you know? 
It's like he sent out the, the, the bees and things of that nature to be the forerunners of Yahweh Shai. You know, I'm gonna bring that out in Wisdom of Solomon. Find it kind of right here. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 8. Nevertheless, even those that spared us as men and didst send wasp forerunners of thine host to destroy them little by little. So that's what the pestilence is doing that corona the virus. That's that's a forerunner of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh was shot. He's sending plagues out to destroy these people little by little. The beginning of sorrow. Okay, it's gonna get worse. To where they, they ain't gonna have the supplies, they ain't gonna have anything to, to take care of these people. Their military force, FEMA, you know, they're, they're not gonna be able to stop the people at, at a certain point, man. They're gonna they're gonna fight. They're gonna run over these these, these people, man. They're trying to keep them contained within the city. It's gonna just it's gonna break. All hell's gonna break loose, man. These all can, can only control certain things to a certain point. There's more people than it is of the military and stuff like that. You know? And especially if you have Obama Shem Yahweh Shah, he, he steps in and puts a certain spirit on people. He can't stop the hand of the Mosa. You know? But that's what it is, man. You know? Which go, goes into that, what I'm trying to speak, you know? About the, these, these pestilence, the viruses that are going on. People get complacent in, in this place and they think they're untouchable man. until it, it finally hits home. Then you realize that you you weren't. Man. You're not you're not part of the mafia. You ain't untouchable. You know? Even the mafia got touched. They shut them down. Now you got it within the government. You know? The point is is that all these things are are, are, are from the most high, man. It, 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 there's, there's nothing else that we could do but to speak it and to prove, you know, and to show the brothers, to show other believers that are seeking is that, you know, that we're here. The Most High is doing the work in your days, man. Whether you want to hear or forbear, that you, whether you want to believe or not believe, the, the Lord is still working the work in your days. And these days right now, man, 2020, and it's got nothing, it's nothing been nothing but hell since the new year. Which proves that it has nothing to do with whether it's a new year, you know. But it's just funny because it's a the new year for Esau, the new year for you people that have these New Year's resolutions and have these this different mindset about this is what how your life is going to be and what the changes that you're going to make. But it's only for your own self. It's not for the, the Most High. It's not for the Lord. You know. So it just, it, it's funny to us, or to, it's funny to me, because I know that the Lord is going to bring nothing but uh, destruction. He's going to bring nothing but destruction. And that's all you're seeing in 2020 now, man. People dying, the virus is out here, and it's just getting worse. Earthquakes that, that hit Puerto Rico, you know, all the cartel killings that are going on in Mexico, you know. You got war and violence everywhere, man. How, how can you not see it? How can you be against us? How can you despise us? Because we speak about the things. The news speak about it. You don't, you don't hate the news. You love those reporters. And there's certain ones that people don't like because they come rugged and rock. But why? Why would you, why would you hate somebody like that, man? Why do, why do you hate us? Why do you despise us? Why do you reject us? Why do you turn the, pull the shoulder and pull back the, the, the shoulder away from us when we're just trying to be a messenger telling you what you should and shouldn't do. It's like I was telling this joker coming up to me as he was all bold and proud. I love Jesus. Okay. And I just had to ask him a question, man. You know? And what does he do? He walks away and I was already going to the, uh, what was it, Proverbs 28 and 1 because I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do anything. So he got, he got hurt because I asked him a question. Or going, when I was telling him, well, those are those aren't the names, Jesus and Yeshua. Those are not the names. He can't prove it. You know? He can't.
jet proof. You know? That's how the people are here in, uh, in the world, man. They did the same thing to Yahweh Yahweh was ministering, and they would come and try to minister to him until he was going. He had a devil. He was mad, man. He was crazy. You know? Plotting on him, wanting to murder him, apprehend him, judge him, condemn him. That's what they do. That's what they think about doing to us, brothers, man. You know? Whether it be friend or foe, whether it be family or foe. Family members are going to be on the same bandwagon, man, trying to judge us, trying to condemn us because we're out here speaking, because we're out here pushing the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know? But meanwhile, while these people, they're not considering the things that are going on, you got all these, these, these different things going on in the earth, man. Earthquakes and pestilence. And those are, the, those are, uh, those are uh, spirits that bring uh, to, to people to, admin, to their amendments, man, to make me correct it. To make amends towards Yahweh by Shemalasha. But a lot of these people are going to die by way of their, their own wickedness, though. They're not going to want to get right. They don't want to correct their ways, man. They want to continue to be proud and, and arrogant, full of pomp. You know, they don't want to get right, man. So that's why the Most High brings these destructive forces. Right? As I said, uh, nevertheless, even those that spared us as men and did his sin was forerunners of thine host to destroy them by little and little. That's that coronavirus. Little by little, they're being destroyed, man. This place is being shut down, man. America, a.k.a. Babylon, spiritually known as Egypt and Sodom, man. Okay? It says, Not that thou was able, or not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle, or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts, or with one rough word, but executing thy judgments upon them by little and little. See? So the most sides beating their ass. It's like when you watch like boxing matches or UFC. You know they have certain rounds, right? Especially like in the UFC, they have like a uh, they have three rounds. You got the main event that is a uh, five five rounds, okay? Which is like a, what is it? Five minutes each round. The one they're. You know, depending on the situation, certain ones, certain fighters want to go all five rounds only to put punishment on their opponent. Knowing that he could clearly knock him out, take him out, make him tap out within the first, second, third round. But he wants to go, he wants to stretch it all the way because he wants to inflict punishment upon his opponent those five rounds, which is what, 50, 25 minutes of getting ass whipping, man. That's what Yahweh Shah is basically doing. The Lord can destroy us, or destroy us, but destroy, you know, and, and put things in a certain situation and correct in a certain way within one rough word, like I said. But he wants to stretch it out. He wants to do it little by little. He wants to, he wants to make you know that I have the power. I have the control. Over you. And there's nothing bad in that, man. All you have to do, he told us what you have to do. Or what we have to do is get right, man. You know? <clears throat> Hosea 5 and 15. <clears throat> I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction they will seek me early. See? And their affliction they will seek me early. Okay? But he's going to return to his place. In the meanwhile, that affliction is part of those pestilence being pushed out in the earth. The earthquakes. The rumors of wars. Okay, the, the whisperings and the gossips of wars. That's what the Most High is pushing out on the earth. That's by way of Him. That's the creed by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus again. Because you ignore to know the true names of the Most High and the, and the Son. Okay. It says, <clears throat> we go back over here to Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, 12 And I'm gonna start at verse 9 again not that thou was was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle 
or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts or with one word, rough word, you see? Because he can. But what did he choose? But executing thy judgments upon them by little and little. Thou gavest them place of repentance, not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation and that their malice was bred in them and that their cogitation would never be changed. Their mindset, man. That's why the heathen, and the Lord even tells us about Ephraim. Ephraim is joining us to Allah, leave him alone. You know? Because that's a heavy demon on people. When their minds have been turned into another power, God are entangled with the snares of the devil. They're, they're basically possessed. But the most high is going to have the ones that he, he has to deliver out of that state of mind, and he's going to have, have them uh, delivered. You know? But even the heathens are the same way, man. The heathens <coughs> are... Uh, <coughs> The heathens are, um, you know, entangled in that. Okay? They have no desire to, to follow and worship the Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat Shabbat. They don't even have a desire to worship the Bible when they call on Jesus. They don't even know Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? They don't even understand who, uh, the, 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 the this Christianity doctrine that has been preached for the past four, five hundred, five hundred years. In the land of America, they don't even understand it. They're like, "Oh, love, love, Jesus, is love, Jesus is love." Okay, what is love? They can't. They don't, they don't even have an explanation on what love is in the Bible, according to their doctrine. <clears throat> they don't even know what uh, the Holy Spirit is, according to their doctrine. <clears throat> because Christianity has, has not has, has taught you nothing, man. Okay, Christianity has taught you nothing but to be a rape, robber, and murderer. Because everybody that claims to be a Christian here in America, they're, they're nothing but thieves. They're nothing but thieves and, 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 and liars, adulterers, into idolatry. That's all. That's why the Lord told that woman at the well, the true worship of the Most High are going to come in the last days, man, not in the last hour. <clears throat> and that's what's happening. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is waking up the true worshipers in, the, in this time to, to know to the, uh, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, man. you know, because the heathen, the heathen are never going to know it. The heathen are going to learn to fear the name of Yahweh by Shema Washah. Okay, because the scriptures say that His name is um, what does it say in the book of Malachi? That His name is uh, let's see here, His name is uh, dreadful among the heathen, and that's what that's what His name is, man. Amongst the heathen, his name is dreadful. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh because he's showing that the because the God of the, 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 the Christianity doctrine, Jesus Christ, right? He loves everybody. But yet they don't have no explanation why the things that are happening in the earth, why destruction is coming, why destruction is being played on the earth. That's what I mean, that they don't understand their own doctrine. Because the, the Lord, the scriptures told us that there's gonna be two Jesus that are preached in the last days. You got a white Jesus and you got a black Jesus. But which one is the truth? Okay? Because right, white represents righteousness and black represents negativity, right? Okay? But who, who, if, if, if in the Bible it depicts that the Lord is a dark skinned man, okay? That doesn't mean that he's negative or he's unrighteous. Okay? So you have, to, you have to come to the grips of that. You have to understand that. Okay? There's a reason why he's coming in, 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 that, in that kind of force, that kind of spirit, because there's wickedness in the earth. Alashadia, man. Demon-like power. Right? A, a, a fearful power, man. A terrific, awesome power, which is out of this world, man. And anybody that doesn't fall and shake and, and, and die at his presence, you're proud. Your 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 pride far exceeds to where you think you're you're the you're God. That's what Esau has become. Esau is that way. He said, "Fear me. Fear not him that can des that can destroy the body, but fear me that can destroy the body and the and, and the and the spirit and the soul, man." That's where a lot of people 
they get entangled with the Christianity doctrine because they don't understand the Bible. They don't read. They just have those those itchy ears that like a like a woman just want to hear smooth things, good things from a man. You know, all the lies. That's what Eve Eve fell because she didn't want to listen to to what Adam had to say. She was seduced by way of that serpent, which was a man. That's why women are easily seduced. And women only see for what their eyes want to see. No woman ever follows their own heart, their own mind. It's all lust when it comes to a woman. And the same thing with doctrines. It's the same thing. And, and a lot of you men fall under that spirit of, of being effeminate. That, that, and that's the truth. You know? <clears throat> so his name is dreadful among the heathen, man. And that's what he's going to do. He's bringing the pestilence. I could bring scriptures regarding the pestilence. All right. It says, For this, for it was a cursed seed from the beginning, neither didst, didst, thou, neither didst thou for fear of any man give them pardon of those things wherein they sinned. See, most I don't give a damn if you're a Moabite, Ammonite, Edomite, Ishmaelite. I'm going to bring you down by way of, the, by way of my prophecies. I'm going to send these plagues upon this place, man. I'm going to destroy this place off, off the face of the earth. Going over here to the book of uh, Amos. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And that's what he's doing, man. Little by little. By, like contractions, birth pains of a woman that's, that is about to bring forth a child, man. It's just getting closer and closer to his return. And in the meanwhile, the elect are being sealed up. Okay? The elect are being sealed up. Putting on those beautiful garments, spiritually beautiful garments, embroidered with blue and, and, and fringes. Not every day, daily. We got that going on with simpletons, man. Simple Negro Latinos and Native American Indians thinking that because they wear their garments or because they wear a, 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 a t-shirt embroidered with blue and fringes that they're good. Okay? That's just a fashion statement. That don't mean that any that don't mean anything. That don't mean nothing. The most I told you what you have to do. Go onto the highways and the byways, whether they hear or forbear. And if they hear, you deal with them. If they don't, you let them go on their business. You make your videos by way of, 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 the, of the elders being spiritually minded, knew that that was a tool and an avenue of pushing this word. Okay? So you make your videos, you make your list, your lessons, you sit, you do your sit downs, you know. That's how you're gonna uh, uh, get people's curiosity. That's how you're gonna ha be able to answer people's questions, brother. Us brothers, we have videos by the thousands of, on on the internet. Man. Anything that people want to go and know, all they gotta do is type in YouTube, man. Type it into YouTube, and you're gonna find out the answer. You're gonna get the answer. <clears throat> Going back uh, <coughs> to Amos 9 and 8. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is sifted and a sieve, yet shall not least grain. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. See? The same attitude they had over there in the Tower of Babel is the same attitude you have now. So that's why Lord Yahweh Shai is sending these, these pestilence, earthquakes, and things of that nature to, to be a, a, a. How does it say? I keep getting that messed up. Messing it up. You know what? <clears throat> I'll find it in a minute, but the word I keep wanting to uh, go to is it's a, a amendment or amend. Okay, which is in the scriptures, but this is a, a Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, and the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them fire and hell and famine and death 
all these were created for vengeance teeth of wild beasts scorpions serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction all right so the one I'm, I'm i keep the word i keep going back to is um is a uh, amendments right which i know one is in the uh is wisdom of solomon chapter one but this is not the one i'm looking for not inquisition uh you know what amendment that's not it either because that's that's a inquisition Yeah, brother, just bear with me, man. Let me go over here to the book of Baruch. Let me look it up. So lock it, brothers. I completely forgot where that is. Amendments. So second Ezra's. Okay, Con, I was gonna bring this one out. Second Ezra sixteen and seventeen. It says, Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, which what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. See? That's the one I was looking for. Salaki. And but I, I was gonna bring that that that, that chapter out, but you know the water y'all was shy. Um, so amendment. Let me look up that word. Amend. Mint. Or amend. All right. It says the process of altering or amending a law or document such as constitution by parliamentary or constitutional procedure an alter alteration proposed or affected by this process the act of amending something correction see so all these things are, are, are being sent to correct man okay um, yeah so amend is the verb it says to put right uh, to change or modify for the better improve to alter especially and that's what he's doing he's sending these things to alter um, to change or modify something to improve it by way of, of punishment man okay and the ultimate instrument that he's going to use to do that is by way of uh, the ICBM missiles okay the arrows that are spoken of in the scriptures is referring to the ICBM missiles. Okay? Because in order to shoot an arrow from one, one, one part of the earth to the other side of the earth, that is a, that, that, that's a missile, man. You know? The Bible speaks about uh, uh, thermal nuclear destruction, the Third World's War. The Bible speaks about uh, America being Great Babylon, spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. Okay? Being a bloody city. All right. All these things were written for our learning, man. So these are all the beginning of sorrows, and it's been the beginning of sorrow ever since Yahweh Shai has stepped on the scene. And like I said, the scriptures say, um, um, uh, 
What does it say? Like the scriptures say that uh, the end has been declared from the beginning. So ever since the beginning has been nothing but chaos, man. Death and destruction. But this time around, it's going to be worse than ever, than ever before. All right, I'm going to read that part again. Second Ezra, or uh, Second Ezra 16 and uh, 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But but for all these things they shall not turn away, or but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. You see, because something's going to happen to where they're going to control this uh, coronavirus, and people are going to go back to being proud and you know or maybe not but that's what's happened you had the uh what is the h1n1 you had the uh, west nile you had the swine flu you had all these different various uh, uh, uh viruses coming out you know putting fear into the people but then they can't control whatever they did now the people are going they're back to their own way that's what it's that's what it's saying you know but there's going to come a time where it's not going to do it's not going to be that way anymore you know? It says, Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think to themselves to be in a good case. The people that, that have it all, that, that, that have the, the means to get food or pay their bills and, you know, get all the things, the necessities of life, that they're in a good state, they're, they're in a good place. Now, realizing that that is blinding them, their, their eyes from the truth, from what's coming, the coming destruction, the return of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, And even... Then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what it is here in, in, in our time. It's great confusion. And it's getting worse and worse. You know, evil man, uh, uh, what does it say uh, uh, in the book of Ephesians? Or not, uh, Ephesians, Timothy's. Let me bring it out. It says, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 13, But evil men shall, and evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, Deceiving and being deceived. And that's what it is, man. Perilous times. Right? It says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other uh, that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And that's what we're coming to, man. And, in, and everything in between that. Pestilence, flu, you know, stroke, heat exhaustion. You know? Wild beast, murdered, lynched, you know? It says, And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. That's how much people are gonna. That's how many people are gonna die here in the earth, man. A lot of people are gonna perish in this in this time, man. In the third world war, civil war, civil war. There's gonna be all kinds of stuff going on, man. They're showing the movie Purge. That's that's a small thing. You know? we got all kinds of movies out there that show you, the, you know, history, right? You got the movie Glory. You got the uh, Last of the Mohicans.